Hello everyone. Long time no see. I mean, I guess I saw you guys about a week ago when I dropped the uh, COVID Corona, well, contain, COVID containment challenge, casting challenge, um, which so far we picked our, or oh, first winner, congratulation uh, to yourself, CJ. And yeah, pretty much if you haven't given that a go already, check my Instagram, The Hunt for Bronze, or go on to the last video posted on this channel. Uh, and that's my little spiel about that. Go on, give it a go. Uh, there are some really cool prizes to win. So, fishing for me has been tough a bit lately, actually. Um, you know, moving to a new place, not spending enough consistent time being able to get to, I guess, get to know a waterway and fishing a whole heap of different areas uh, and losing, I guess, losing a bit of confidence as well has been a big thing. But tomorrow, uh, I'm hitting the water. I've got the tinny, which I'm currently in, as you can see. Um, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna chase some brim and flathead. And that's all I'm focusing on. I'm not gonna go for dewies, not gonna go for jacks, not gonna go for anything else. My focus is to hit the flats and just go back to basics and catch some fish to get a bit of confidence up. A place I've never been before, but I've used Google Maps. I've got good tides, I've got an incoming tide in the morning. So we're gonna get up on the flats and chase it up to the mangroves and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm pretty much gonna be throwing hard bodies over the flats, plastics, um, and some top water early, and we'll see how we go. And if that all fails, we, we might even go try, find a squid, um, who knows? We're just gonna give it a go and, and see how it all plays out. I've got a couple of ideas of some spots, but the biggest thing is I'm just gonna go out and, <laughs> and go fishing, because I need it and I need to catch some fish because it's driving me insane. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on the water. We're gonna go catch some fish. Don't forget to check out the COVID casting challenge uh, and put yourself in a chance to win some awesome prizes. <coughs> so we're at the boat ramp and it rained last night, go figure. But anyway, did not expect that to happen, but I've got my rain jacket, I've got a sense of adventure and I'm ready to catch some fish. And we're just Gonna have to die this bad boy here. Haha, <laughs> I'm so keen actually. I didn't think I was this keen to go fishing, but I really am. I think I'm just excited to go do something. I guess do something, well, I guess go do something new and different that I haven't done in a while. Um, and it is just as simple as going to chase brim and flathead on the flats with surf slurs. And hard bodies and all, all the rest of it, but we're gonna go pretty much throw what we can to catch these these guys. So let's let's do it. I'll be on the water in two seconds. Now I have no idea what that is on the sounder besides a ton of fish. But they're sitting right on this current face which makes it quite hard to fish as you can see my Electric is uh, working pretty hard. It could just be bait. Yep, on, on. A rock cut. Little bit of rock cut. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at that. Look at that eye's bigger than its belly much. Oh. Ah. All right. We have got a sand flat that's kind of... You're kind of pushing in two directions here with sand flat with mangroves on it. Now this is somewhere that I'm kind of looking at breaking down as a point. Um, now it's got a lot of current on it, so there'll be movement in the water. Um, you know, there'll be a predator, you know, if I were a predator sitting somewhere at the front of these mangroves, would not be a bad idea. You've got a bit of a break with the, uh, with the mangroves themselves. 
but also some concealment, some wet hide, bait would be attracted to. A whole heap of little glassies hopping. Okay. Audible here. Um, nothing's happened on surface all morning, so we're giving up on that. Surface is not happening. However, we do have the option of there's an attempt to match the hatch. A little clear, just little fish, a heap of little fish jumping. So we've swapped over to a real small plastic clear silver. Now that looks as realistic as I can probably get for the little glasses that are splashing. So I'm gonna give them a, give this a go around here. If I get nothing, well, I get nothing and I move up to the next um, mangrove head up there. Yep. I think that's a flathead. It is a little flathead. I oh, know it's a brim. It's a brim of all things. Sick. Oh, a little brim bay has just engulfed that. Boom. Now, if you just calm down so we can. Oh. Uh, uh, yep. And he's just going to carry on for a bit. Yep. <laughs> Tiny baby Brim. He is not big at all. And he took a liking to that plastic there. As you can see, that's a big meal for a fish that size. But he ate it, and that's a fish. Cool. No wonder why these guys are so fussy in here. Happens when they eat glassies, they just become real fussy. Little glass minnows, they just get real particular about the, the lure or the bait they want to eat. And this is that instance where you've just got to match the hatch. Happens a lot back uh, in Sydney when you're chasing kingfish and salmon. Um, so all the fly guys do really well because they can throw those little tiny glass minnow um, imitation flies. And I reckon right now, if I had one of those, I probably would be getting a lot more fish. But you gotta start somewhere. And right now I'm happy to be starting with this because it gives me the opportunity to Catch it on spin gear, just catch something. That was a little confidence booster, that fish, that's for sure. Yep. Another little brim. I've got a real light drag at the moment. I'm fishing on a sand flat as well. Normally I uh, have it quite heavy, but it's light for this. Um, cause I pulled too many hooks lately and I just, uh, I'm not happy with it. See, another little, that's an even smaller one, but it's a fish, which I am not complaining about. They must be up here feeding on these glass minnows. Hey, stop it. He's thick. Oh, he's blind in one eye. That's why. For a fish his size, he is thick. He is tiny. <laughs> yeah. Look how small he is. Uh, see? And this is a plastic that's just doing the damage. 
Now the hope is, I don't have them ruling the plastic too much. That's f rude. These guys have just pulled in front of me. F jokes. If not, they've just driven over my flat I'm fishing. The one spot I was looking forward to getting to was right on that point where the current swung around this corner and there was a bit of an eddy. That's where the fish would be. And they've decided to just ruin that for me. Yep, got him. Yeah, nice. A <laughs> cheeky little brim on the uh, skip cast plastic. I knew there'd be one in that mangrove. That's a good actual lay down in there. Hey, oh, come down, buddy. And he has swallowed that. Check that out. He's absolutely swallowed it. He has T boned that. He definitely wanted it. I don't even know how he's eaten that. I don't need, definitely need the pliers. Boom. Nice. And that's all matching the hatch. If I could show you those little glassies, I would. Because they are the deal. All right, we're on a bridge. Um, <clears throat> I saw some slackish looking water and I thought, why not? Why not throw a vibe down there or a plastic and or a plastic? Um, so I'm just gonna vibe around these pylons. I did see a couple of arches, so who knows? Thought so. Knew that'd be here. Knew that'd be a brim in there. The arches looked too brim like. Well, what we got here is a back eddy, some dirty water, a run out tide. That's a good time in my books. So, I'm gonna throw a placky round. See how we go with this one. I may change to a different color noting how dirty the water is. And we're just gonna work around. Cause what's happening here is the water's pushing out of this little back mangrove system. There's two creek mouths in it. All right, we're gonna find a different colored lure. Different color. Plastic, what do we got? What have we got? That'll do it. He's got more of a thud. Might be more attractive to a fish. Yeah. Nope. Brembo. Not a bad one. Not bad. He's f annihilated that plastic too. Not bad. Not huge, but not bad. Big old brim sessions today. Well, he's probably a bit better. Hey. And he has swallowed a three inch plastic. He wanted that, look at that. Well, there it is. That's a three inch plastic down his gullet. He has absolutely annihilated that. Look at that. That's gone. He really wanted that. Not a huge fish, but it's one. 
back camera, front camera. We're finally kind of cracking into a couple. So let's hope this remains consistent. Yep, on another brim. Yes, sick. It's actually not a bad one either. I mean, I do have light drag on and they got the current, but hey, they're all good fun. Boom, another one. Then, as I said, they're not huge, but I mean, I'm not complaining with them. That's what I came out to target, brim and flathead. Um, you know, a couple of these guys isn't too bad. As I said, he's not huge, but he's eaten that plastic. That's a three inch plastic there they're going for there. The old uh, Damiki. I got a good thump on him. Right. And I'm getting those guys, so that's, that's pretty cool. That right, one there. See you, mate. Oh, that was a hit. Yep, there he is. They're all about the same size. They're probably, no. Oh, 22, 23 to the fork. Maybe, maybe bigger. I don't know. Oh, he's actually smaller than the rest of them. He's actually quite small, this one. All right, come down. Come it. Yeah, 23. 23 to the fork. So, why I came up here I actually looked at it and it reminded me a lot of how I would fish in the US um, they're waiting for fish they're hungry like this is when they feed so I kind of looked at it and went you know what bugger it why not I was close to the ramp I was on my way home and good move because I've just been getting a heap of fish this is good fun oh this is a lot of fun. That's uh, me done. That, that is very, very much me done. Wow, that's windy. Wow. Yep. Yep, that's me done, guys. I'm done. 